Principle number seven in outlasting the gay revolution is factor in the God factor. I start every chapter with a quote, and that chapter has a quote from a chief justice who in the early 1800s said the church has fallen too far. It's beyond recovery. Do you know after the Revolutionary War in the late 1700s that things were absolutely miserable on some of our campuses in America, that campuses that were founded as Christian campuses had a couple hundred students and they could not find a single professing Christian among them? Another campus, the handful of Christian students would meet in secret and keep their meetings in code because they didn't want anyone to know about it. What happened? Awakening came. We must factor in the God factor. This is not just a sociological issue. This is not just a political issue. This is not just a, democratic, a demographic issue. This is also a spiritual issue. If we, God's people, will humble ourselves, turn away from sin in our own lives, and begin to cry out, who knows what could happen next? I, I cite this in the book. April 1966, cover story, Time Magazine, Is God Dead? Right in the height of the counterculture movement of the 60s, Is God Dead? Just five years later, June 1971, the Jesus Revolution, Time Magazine reporting on this extraordinary phenomenon of hippies, radicals, rebels getting radically saved, not just in America, this happened all around the world. Factor in the God factor, God could turn the tide overnight in America.